Hello YouTube, if you can't tell then, that is tyre suspension for this little guy. Obviously it's the daily but I like to do stuff to it anyway. Um, first, before we get started, got this book here, the instructions, and in the memo section I've drawn that and I'm going to quickly go around the car and measure the height before we adjust it. So the bottom of the shock is two 14s and the top hiding behind this panel here there's a little box that's in the way but you can just pull that off and then there's a little cap on there and there's two more nuts just there I'm guessing they're probably the same the look it right so we've got the shock out just two 14s on the top and then just need to get the spring out now Just come straight out. Keep all these little rubber boots and what have you because you need to reuse them on the next suspension. So that's the top, that's the bottom. And keep all the little top mounts and washers and everything else. So that's the old gear. And here is the new gear. So I'm just gonna double check the instructions to make sure I put all the boots and everything on in the right order. So you need the adjustment body. Insulator, what's the insulator there? So you need the insulator. Use the OE rubber insulator originally installed at the bottom of the spring. So you need this bottom one. Let's do that. A little bit of a wipe off. That wants to be right at the top. Then you want the adjustment base. which is this black bit here. Then you want the seat lock and then the spring seat and then the thrust washer. So as it is now actually, put that all the way up to the top. All right. And then you want the Spring seat, thrust washer, and you want the flat side of the spring. Like that. And that wants to go in the top. And then you want the, the top insulator for the bottom. And it says, set the spring bottom end towards the rear of the vehicle. So, Obviously this is the rear that wants to be like that, say towards the rear, I'd say like that. Get that on, now this might be a little bit harder to get back in because there's a few extra components but we'll give it a go anyway. I oh know, scratch that, I've just lined it up next to the old one and it's actually smaller so it should be even easier. Okay, let's try and get you in there like that. You can see the top of it there is seated. The bottom there is seated. Obviously that's how you adjust it, but I'm just gonna leave it on max or minimum setting, whatever it is. I'm just gonna leave it all the way at the base of the adjuster and um, let the spring set on as we go from there. See if it needs to be adjusted or what have you. But just for now, just so they're all even, I'm going to do it like that. So I forgot how to show you how the the rear shock goes together. So you obviously got the shock, then you've got the bump rubber just under there. And I'll show you that real quick. There. Then you've got the dust cover, then you've got the washer, the collar, and then you've got this gadget. This is off the stock part show you just there 
the dust cover, three stars, that means it's from the OEM suspension, same with the rubber bush, and, and that guy there is on the tube, it's got a nice little line around there, so you just chop that off, pull this rubber thing out at the bottom of it, and that all sits together nicely, and you've got the rubber bush in there, slides down and that just sits in, in the top of there, if you if it does it does but anyway i'll fit that in a second and then you've got the body line and on top of that you've got this one that just got the little ridges there so it sits nicely washer on top nut on top of that so i'll pop all that back together it's as simple as popping it out stick it up through the bottom no pun intended um, put that in the bottom, nice and easy. So the front is going to be a little bit more complex. Um, so we've got these two we need to undo for the brake line. These two here for the, um, what do you call it? Another one here. This one here for the um, wheel speed sensor, I believe. This one for drop link and steering column. Steering column, um, yeah, you know what I mean. So there's quite a few. Hopefully them nuts are welded in on the other side and then there's obviously gonna be a few up the top. So let's stop messing about and get to it. So them first three are all 14s, so that's good. So, this little gadget gave me a bit of an issue. It just kept spinning. Um, recently I had the other one replaced on the other side. So all I did was got some mole grips. You can see there's a flat bit there and a flat bit on the bottom. And clamped them on there, held it down as hard as I could and then just rattled them off with a gun. Having a gun certainly helps. Having a second pair of hands would certainly help, but if I can do it on my billy, then any of you guys can, because I've got zero mechanical qualifications. I learn as I do, and sometimes that's not always a good thing, but most of the time, there's a lot of information out there, so as long as you do your research and what have you, you should be all right. So, I've got the top one undone, just gonna get the bottom one finished off, and then, pop the bonnet and get inside there and take them off and then that's this side off hopefully so as you can see there's one here one just there and then one a little bit further back so we've got everything off all that's left to pop that and i didn't want to damage it so I took a quick trip to halfords to get a proper kit I'll, I'll need it again in the future at some point so And off she pops. There we go, move that out of the way. Just undo the three on top and we're gold. So with that one popped off, we'll line them up next to each other, make sure we've got the right one. Make sure the little tabs are on the right side. It's obviously opposite for the other side. Right, and I'll just grab the instructions and see which parts we need off the original suspension. Right, so the phone died and I didn't realise, but I've got it all finished now. There she is. All nice, like I said, I've just got it set on service down, that way they're all even. I've got it set on the stiffest dampening as well, all round. Um, these guys, ball joints and what have you, definitely get a tool for that because it's not worth risking damaging it. I didn't have one so I bombed it to Halfords um, but we've got everything else all back up and, and going. Got the tops, they are awkward as well. The one at the back there 
absolute nightmare and on this one it's even worse it's got all this electrics and what have you here but it's all on put this wheel already back on so i'm just going to lower it down now and see what she looks like get a measurement all around as well full locks and didn't hear no rubbing which is good. Oh my days! I like! Yes, this is very nice. You can feel the bumps as well, like Mano covers a lot more. Which is good because well, you just want to feel the road, don't you? You don't want to be driving a little boat round. Gear pull all the way up to 35. Mental. Right, let me just show you now. I've stopped. That's my steering wheel now. What is all that about? Literally, all I undid was the bolts and I bolted them back together. Straight as you like. Right, that'll be it now for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope it helped you. If you need to put some lowering springs on your car or if you want to do the same job on yours. If not, then, I don't know, thumb down it, I guess. Alright, thank you very much. See you in the next one.